Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is Maniac Monday. Yes, folks, it is already the beginning of the week. Yes, yes, yes. First and foremost, before I roll on to anything, I hope each and every one of you had a fantastic weekend. Hopefully you got to get out and enjoy the weather wherever you're at. Hopefully you got to uh, uh, watch some great movies, binge watch some series, whatever it is you do. I Hopefully you got to do some of that stuff. And then on top of that, I hope all of you are having a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk as usual. Please do me a favor and like, share, and subscribe. I love seeing each and every one of you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Friday now. I'm not going to be doing every every Monday through Friday anymore. I'm I'm dropping Tuesdays and Thursdays just to just to let you know if if you're an older one coming in and you don't know that, or in case you're a new person hopping over from from the iceberg video or whatever it is. Um, uh, I definitely uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I try to get my best out here for you guys, unless it's a major holiday or unless some kind of crazy thing happens with my schedule, then I won't be here. Um, and then also one last thing, check out the description box, the information in the description box for more information on your daily films, such as your brief synopsis, your starring cast, your director, your runtime of the cut I am watching, along with an MPAA rating, if there is one that exists, which most of the time there isn't going to be one, uh, some trivia, if I find anything worthwhile of mentioning, and then uh, a link for either a trailer or a scene from the movie itself, which today is another one of those ones where you have to hop for, where where the link hops you off of YouTube for a moment and you go over to uh, Vimeo. Vimeo has the trailer there and I believe it's a 100% uncut trailer so it, not safe for work one of those kind of ordeals. So keep that in mind folks. Yes, yes, yes. Now that I got all that out of the way, let's get on to the movie of the day. Today's came out back in 1994. I couldn't believe that when I was looking up for all my info information on on today's movie i could not it just blew my mind that it is that old already i did not think it was 26 years old it's it's just it blew my mind and it is none other than ray brady's boy meets girl yes this is a very fun uh edgy hip 90s uh um kind of uh horror flick it's definitely one of those it uh uh, is very cringy, very very cringy. Um, this is the uh, unearthed films release. If you can see here with the uh, the little unearthed films logo on there, uh, it is a special edition, as it says right there. It is a standard issue pressed DVD. Just to let you know, no DVD R bullshit there. Uh, there is zero reversible artwork, which honestly I didn't think there would ever be one on this one. Anyways, um, I've only seen this, and I saw one variant where it was a bootleg, a very obvious bad, bad bootleg of this movie. Um, but I've only seen this one, this uh, cover artwork. I know there's more out there of it though. Not, not saying that this is the only release. Um, but as far as you got for your special features, there's a. Uh, um, a uh, comparing scenes of the movie to to actual audition tapes um, on their on their casting tapes to see see how how well they transferred over from that to to um, uh, the film itself. Um, there's also a trailer gallery for unearthed films, and then I believe oh there's a director's commentary. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's production stills. So there's a little bit of uh, of uh, a nice little bit of uh, uh, stuff there for you to get some special features for it. So it's not completely bone dry like a lot of releases can be nowadays. Um, I I'm happy that you add a, a trailer gallery. That is something I'm always happy to have as long as all the trailers work. Um, and then uh, a commentary. I love commentary tracks. I like to check those out. Um, do, do any of you guys check out the commentary tracks? If so, let me know. What are some of your favorite commentary tracks? Mine, one of my favorites is probably Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. Uh, the Savini, uh, uh, the one with Tom Savini and I believe uh, Toby Hooper and one other person is there. I, I, maybe it's the Moe's. I can't, or Caroline Williams is there, but uh, um, either way, it is just an absolute, just laugh riot from beginning to end. It is an amazing, amazing commentary. So definitely, if if you like to uh, uh, add a little extra inform information onto your or knowledge onto your your um, 
database for for movies that you watch check out uh, um, eventually go back and check out those commentaries because you never know what kind of gold you'll find along them uh, you'll find out little little tricks of the trade uh, uh, little little bits of the movie you didn't know that even existed so uh, it's really nice you get little you'll find out little inside jokes sometimes and things of that nature so you you know you just check out the the, the commentary tracks is one of those things I, I I highly recommend to a lot of people or at least my fans of of are of real movie film cinema whatever you want to call call it um, definitely um, check those out now as far as what is this movie exactly about um it's about this dude who uh it starts out with him going home with this girl um as you can see she's right here um this girl she is uh got a very thick french accent um very kind of a seductressy type um they are both have are coming to her apart or her house i i believe it's a house um uh, because it's, uh, um, they had a, a night of drinking and they met and blah, 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 blah. She's taking him home. One of those ordeals. That's how it, how at first things seem. Um, and then things eventually take a, a, a turn, but not, not without, um, a few little, little things happening beforehand. Like she likes to, to, she like, um, turned on some homemade porn that she had made, uh, that, uh, 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 what he, at first the guy was like, yeah, let's watch it. And then as soon as he started seeing what was going on, he was kind of changing his tune. Um, but either way, uh, uh, uh it's, uh, uh, is a really interesting setup to, to the characters that we have. And then, uh, you find out that she has put something into his drink. He passes out, blah, blah, blah. Fast forward. Uh, he wakes up and he is strapped into this dentist type chair. Um, it is uh, he is strapped down from like to where he can't even really do a whole lot of you know you can move your fingers and your toes, but uh, um, you, you know he can kind of move his head. But that's that's really about it. He doesn't have a whole lot of um, uh, articulation that he can do with it, with any of his body parts. So he's strapped down really really. Now, so she that in turn makes her start doing some of the most dastardly things to to this man. Um, as you can see here, this part right here is is just it was it's new and different to to the time. I definitely would have never thought of something like that. You know, you put a uh, um, uh, it's kind of like a water fountain type thing over the dude's head, and you have as you can see, there's three cigarettes there, and she lights them on fire. And and the smoke goes inside just the canister, as you can see, and it fills up, and the homeboy's freaking out, as any any normal person would. Uh, even a hardcore smoker, I think that would be a little too much for them. Um, yeah, seasoned veterans, I think probably not. I know I would freak the fuck out, you know. Oof. <laughs> Whoopsie doodles. But either way, I I know I would I would freak out. But then she goes on to other things like like she she puts his hand in in this microwave contraption. She gives she does performs a surgery on him and leaves a straight razor inside of him. Uh, uh, what else does she do? Um, she does a lot of different like like uh, uh, tortures from from um, things that will attack you mentally down to physically because he. He, she um, talks about how she's been following this guy this entire time, and she knows all these ins and outs to his life, all these secrets, uh, knows that he has kids and he's married and da 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 da. Uh, uh, so every time, everything he has to say, his rebuttal is like, oh, yeah, I already know that. You know, like, uh, yeah, you're going to be missed. I know you are going to be missed uh, because I know you have a, a wife and, and two kids and da 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 things like that so it's um uh a uh, very uh uh this is a more of a psychological one i feel like even though it does not skimp on the red stuff uh it definitely does get get gory in in places i mean not super super gory like you don't witness like the 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 surgery really happening you get to see her pulling out some stuff here and there, uh, but it's not like like you're looking inside the cavity firsthand while she's pulling out stuff. 
So do keep that in mind. It's not like super, super gory, but there is some gore here because it is an unearthed film's release after all. We got to have some, some blood and guts in there somewhere. Some psychological horror somewhere, you know. It's it's definitely uh, full of psychological horror. Um, only problem is, is it does kind of drag and get a little boring in places. I'm not going to lie. Um, uh, it could have sped up a lot more. Um, uh, they have it broke down in between segments, like one where it's it's I lied, and there's another one that's like. Um, uh, somebody who's been shot doesn't doesn't run or something like that, and then uh, domestic violence and and j just different different uh, openings to these segments, and they all involve this not this girl here because eventually this girl gets killed and she gets decapitated but by the person that is actually filming what's going on. And you find out that that is another woman and that she is uh, much more uh, 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 psychopathic in, in, in nature than our first person, our, our girl who we thought was a French lady, uh, who turns out not to be. Um, uh, she is definitely the one that is more uh, uh, aggressive out of the two Um after the first one dies, it's just kind of like, all right, let's get on to the uh, to the gnarly stuff because it kind of changes its tone uh, a lot once once that happens. It goes, I mean, it was already a very dark movie, but it gets even more dark and and it uh, goes off of the uh, the uh, end deep end a little bit with as far as um, uh, uh, psychological scares. So keep that in mind when you're going in here. It's very psychological. Uh, it uh, um, overall is a pretty good movie, I would say. It's not a, a masterpiece by any means, um, but it is still a worthwhile of a watch. Um, own if you are a completist of the uh, uh, Unearthed Films catalog. Uh, this is definitely one that I throw in probably once a year, once every other year, just, just because I, I do find entertainment out of this and I do think it's good not to, to, uh, have multiple viewings. Uh, unlike certain stuff out there that I've reviewed, there's some stuff I just, uh, one, once and, and I'm done forever and I definitely want to watch it that first time. <coughs> Snuff woman. <laughs> the butcher. Mm, dang, I keep getting stuff stuck. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, 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 as far as anything would go, as far as the rating would go, on the technical side, the same thing would go. I mean, you know, yeah. It, you're not watching some Orson Welles type shit here. I mean, it's 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 pretty straightforward. Uh, it does get a little wonky with with um uh how it's filmed in ways because there's just. It, it's basically all done in one one uh, location. So you got to, in my opinion, if you're going to make your movie in one location like that, make your location part of your, make it uh, a character in its own and make it part of your, not only the back, background, but make it interact with, with what's going on with our, our main uh, uh, villain and our, our uh, I wouldn't say hero, but our, our, our hostage, our hostage villain, I guess you could say. Now, uh, um, as far as an entertainment side goes, it's pretty decent on an entertainment scale. It, it, like I said earlier, it gets pretty boring in places. Uh, I really, honestly, it could be a lot better of a movie in, in, in all actuality. Uh, it it kind of falls flat in places. Uh, the ending is, is definitely shocking. Um, as it should be, um, uh, it does leave you up in the air with, oh, there could be another one of these, which, which uh, is kind of, kind of a fun idea. Um, uh, I dug it. I dig it. So on a 1 through 10 scale, I'm going to probably give this thing a 5 out of 10. Um, it's the, it's kind of a middle of the road kind of movie. It could be much, much better um, if it, if if it delivered a little more on the uh, the the gore factor, um, I mean, yes, there there is gore in there. Don't get me wrong, but there it 
they really could have amped the the uh, the ante up and really threw in a lot of stuff with it, especially like I was saying, there's the surgery scene, um, or even the scene when when um uh, he's getting his hand in the microwave. You know, that's one of those scene scenes that that really could have been something more than what it was. It was it was still very very well done, just not as good as what it should have been. All right, guys, five out of ten. I think that's a good enough review for this one. I'm going to get the hell out of here. I got some things to do. Um, I'll see you guys, uh, not tomorrow, but Wednesday with another Shaka. Uh, uh, I'm not 100% which one I got lined up, but we will figure out something very soon. All right, guys, have yourselves a good one.